your question was, how do I stay grounded? I think it's my mom. You guys, you have no idea how excited I am that you guys came and that you're here. This is humbling and makes me feel really good. And my mom's in Los Angeles right now, but I wish that I could call her and tell her, people came, mom, people came. <laughs> I got career advice for my mom, high school advice. Let's see. He ain't worth it. <laughs> mom is here. Stand up, mama. <laughs> The human side of Model Land, where it came from, I think it starts with my 11-year-old self. Over a summer, grew three inches, so then I became the freak, the weirdo. I became extremely insecure. In order to cover the world and um, retain some type of sanity, I had a book. Have you ever seen her? The girls whose face, not even the meanest person you know would describe as yuck. I remember walking down the street and women coming up to me and saying, Ty, if they're calling you that, what are they calling me? So my mother came to me and she said, Ty, here's a list of designers that do not want to work with you anymore because you are gaining weight. And here I was saying, oh, this was not going to be happening anymore because my body was changing. So I started to cry. And then my mom said, so you, you know what we're going to do about this list and this issue? And I said, what? What are we going to do? And she said, we're going to get some pizza. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I say in Model Land, that the person that's trying to tear you down and make you feel bad, they don't feel good about themselves and they have to tear you down to make them feel better about themselves. So I help young models um, become models because I feel like I want to give other girls that opportunity. And I encourage you to like start Model Land book clubs. Hit me up on Facebook. Hit me up on Model Land book Facebook. Hit me up on Tara Banks. Ask me questions. I'm going to try to answer as many as I can. Model